Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Metroid Dread. It's been 19 years since Fusion, can you guys believe that? I am super excited to be playing this with you. Metroid is my favorite franchise, and I would not have it any other way. After years of speculation and cancellation, Metroid Dread is finally here, it's finally real. Let's get into it. Alright, uh, let's start. 0% items, 0 time, 15 missiles, 99 health. Um, but, let's get it going. Now this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna be finding all the items and stuff. If we have to come back, we'll probably come back towards the end game to, to make sure that we have everything, but as of right now, we're just gonna kinda go through the story, experience it for, uh, for the first time, and then towards the end, we'll, we'll look for everything else. So, Metroid, a very relent, uh, floating organism that drains energy from the prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after the word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all the traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Alright, so this is just giving some backstory on, on the previous games if you haven't played them. The X Parasite, relative to fusion. A gelatinous, parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It can absorb DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are also believed to be extinct. So this is the opening to fusion then, where Samus first gets infected with the X-Parasite. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became uh, infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. You know, actually, originally, Mercury Steam was supposed to do a Fusion remake until Sakamoto actually asked them to do Dread instead. Um, so I'm hoping that's still coming down the road. I would still love to see a, a Fusion remake. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created by the Metroid DNA, which was also left to me uniquely able to oppose... Oh, left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I was sent to the Biologic Space Laboratories BLS... BSL Research Station to investigate a distress signal. Oh, look at that. The SAX. I also saw a glimpse of Nightmare and the Omega Metroid, and I can't remember his name, but whoever gives you the spring ball. <laughs> there I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Hmm. Well, that's not good. It showed an X alive and in the wild. Although analysis proved that the video was real, although the sender was unknown, oh, thorough analysis uh, proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. I like that uh, Galactic Federation cruiser. It was called ZDR. If the X had somewhere, somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmys to investigate. Excelsion Star Corporation. Dude, I love these Emmy designs. An Emmy is a large research robot designated to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mo incredibly uh, incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZER, all communication was lost. I'm 
I'm really curious to see what other uh, robots Excelsior Star Corporation has made besides the Emmy in like future games because I feel like that's going to be a name that comes back but uh, it's just me what is happening on ZDR is the planet really infect uh, infested with the X as the only one immune to the parasites it's up to me to go there and find out D um I I don't know if any of the trailers and stuff we actually found out what ZDR stands for maybe it's just a designation maybe it doesn't actually stand for anything but I'd be kind of curious if they if they tell us what it means Man, I love this. Oh. Alright, we got 10 minutes till touchdown. Yeah, I was going to say, I love the fusion ship. Hmm. Who sent the bounty? I'm assuming the Galactic Federation. I am kind of curious what happened to the aliens that you saved from, uh, the, oh, Super Metroid Infusion. We already lost all our stuff? Oh, it's just a flashback. Okay. Oh, dude, he, is, he just comes out swinging. Okay. Wow. I wonder if his armor is made of the st same stuff as the Emmys. It, I mean, the color scheme reminds me a lot of the Emmys. With the white and red. Nice. So we know at least super missiles are somewhat effective. Okay. I don't know what's with the with the pinkish glow. But it kept showing up through all the trailers, and that's honestly one of the things that has me the most curious about this game. Is like Samus has some weird weird power to her now. But unfortunately he stripped us of the Varia suit, so. That's a bummer. He left us alive though. Alright, so what do we have? We don't have charge. Oh, this feels nice. Okay. Oh, the slot. Oh, my goodness. Everybody in the uh, who had, like, review copies and everything was talking about how, like, fluid the movement is. I see it now. How, what is the... There we go. So, it auto just aims directly in front of you. Oh, those guys are in the back. So, you can crouch down. 
That switches the missiles, so... Okay, so L is the... Is that... Oh! And then X is the... Melee counter. Oh, come on. Can I can I wall jump already? That's actually something I never looked into to see if uh, you can actually wall jump in here. Ammo already. Okay. So we got an ammo station. Crouch. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, our first navigation room. Uploading data. So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Okay. I've run a full analysis but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical, physical amnesia. amnesia, of course. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. Okay. Yeah, I always thought that was curious. In most Metroid games, you start at the surface and you're making your way down. But, uh, you're just trying to go up this time. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Okay. Oh, okay, and it works as a save station. It's nice. Alright, plus is the map. Um, no. Okay. And minus is the options, brightness, rumble, amiibo. It's a system. Oh, okay. Cool. So these are all like charge doors or something, right? Is it a missile door? Nope. Oh, duh. Uh, use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Very enemies with X at the right moment. Okay. You can wall jump. Yes. Oop. Okay, so I was curious if it still hits them, even if they're not coming directly for you. Trying to practice my wall jumping better. Okay. Oh. Nope. 
Only 69 health. What? Come on. Oh, there doesn't even seem to be a <laughs> an actual door there. Okay. Artaria. Or Artaria. I think is actually how it's called. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates there's a hidden item there. Okay. Um right here, baby. Oh. Is that a heart? It looks like a heart, to be honest. All right, missile tank acquired. Missile capacity increased by two. It is interesting that this game you start with, um, start with missiles. No! Oh, crap. There was probably a save room the other way. Oh, I've seen this part in the trailer. This is where the Emmys come in. Oh, here he is. Come on, come on, come on! Alright, an enemy's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Alright, slide underneath the legs. Go! Oh, crap. Alright, we're already going. Thankfully, this is a damaged one, so... He can't get up here. I just wish I would have gone left first and actually gone to the save station. Some other brain looking units, Aurora units. Nice. I like how the, how the arm cannon looks. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into the Omega cannon. Omega blaster online. Hold L to use aim mode. Okay, so you you have to stick in this stationary. Uh, once charged, press Y while holding still R to fire. So R charges. I thought there was a way to rapid fire do it. I guess not. Hold L to aim mode. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Got him! Right in the head. strongest stuff in the galaxy and they just disintegrate like that omega cannon depleted and offline reverting to regular arm cannon okay um all right well that's uh i don't think we can get back up there this is open now at least is this the the previous room we were in yes all right let's go check yeah okay let's go see if this is a save room in here it is Look at that. Yes, let's save. The Emmys are here. Starting to get intense. Alright, that needs a charge door. That's going to drain the water there. That's good. Ooh, but here we go. This is uh this is the real Emmy room. It looks so freaky. All right. Oh, we totally missed something over here in this room. Should we backtrack for that? We may not be able to get it, but... Oh, you know what? We can't, because we can't slide underneath there anymore. We'd have to get the Morph Ball.
It's hiding on the ceiling. I just can't... I can't see it. There it is. Just run! Don't even try it! Just go! Just go! Oh, crap. I should wear, like, a heart rate monitor while playing this game. Uh, okay. Oh, it's just gonna sit there until I... Yeah. Now it's... Now it sees me. It's gonna come from the right. Yep. Just go. Just go. No! Uh, uh, I don't know which door. Yes. Okay. Hide in the water. Hide in the water. Get down, get down, get down. Yes. Alright. Oh. Oh, the, the Emmy door is locked again. Oh, no, it's not. It just hurt, hurt me. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That was the boss they showed off at E3. I've seen him before. I saw him run around in the background there. And I still don't even have one energy tank yet. Well, there's another missile expansion. Nice. Missile upgrade again. Let's go see if there's something in, something in here. Save room or... Oh. Is this a map room? Nope. It's just another navigation station. So they've been hacked. Okay. So it, okay, so it automatically locks the doors to keep you in. It is kind of nice that they're they're uh, confined to certain areas. If it was if they were free like the whole map, this game would be a lot crazier, I feel. All right, let's see. Oh, can't do that one. What about in here? Hold up, let me look at the map. There was something over here that we never checked. Maybe this is that's a save room or something. Oh, you can shoot while sliding? That's nice. Oh, wait. That's not a missile door? It's red, like... Nope. Okay. Alright, well, we can't go that way anyways. So we do have to go here. Oh, that leads back to the Emmy zone. Can we not get that until we have more pull? Uh, I guess not. Okay. But at least the uh, the rubble. Here we go.
Is this energy? Resources already at full capacity. Okay. I almost feel like I don't want to fire because I can hear that too. God, this makes me go. Oh! Gee, just the door moving was like enough to freak me out. Is it this way? Oh, it's up there. It's up th it's up top. Oh, here we go. Back, 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 back. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It can hear me in here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't know how I made that jump. Just go, just go, just go. Don't lock the door. Oh, it can't, it can't. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even see this down here. Oh, God. Can it? Oh, that, that, oh, crap. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. It's actually terrifying. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, the thing is that you just want you want to mash X so bad. All right. What is all this? Uh, oh, that's the recharge station. We don't know what that is. Alright. <laughs> this is going to end the first episode. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.